latest marine reports. Scripps buoy 4 miles east of Port Canaveral, water temperature 80, seas 3 feet with a period of 6 seconds. At the buoy 120 nautical miles east of New Smyrna Beach, air temperature 76 and the water temperature 80, east wind at 12 knots, seas 5 feet with a period of 6 seconds. At the buoy 20 nautical miles east of Port Canaveral, air temperature 80 and the water temperature 80 degrees, east wind at 14 knots, sea 6 feet with a period of 8 seconds. Marine forecast for the following. Coastal waters from the Volusia Brevard County Line to Sebastian Inlet out to 20 nautical miles. This afternoon, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots, decreasing to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet with a dominant period 5 seconds. A light chop on the intracoastal waters. Chance of showers and thunderstorms. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots becoming south 5 to 10 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet with a dominant period 5 seconds. A light chop on the intracoastal waters. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Friday, south winds 5 knots becoming southeast 5 to 10 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 feet. A light chop on the intracoastal waters. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Friday night, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots becoming south 5 to 10 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. A light chop on the intracoastal waters. Saturday, south winds 5 knots becoming southeast 5 to 10 knots in the afternoon. Seas 1 to 2 feet. A light chop on the intracoastal waters. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Saturday night, southeast winds 10 knots becoming south 5 to 10 knots after midnight. Seas 2 feet. Sunday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots becoming southeast in the afternoon. Seas 1 to 2 feet. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Sunday night, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Monday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots becoming southeast in the afternoon. Seas 1 to 2 feet. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Marine forecast for the following. Waters from the Volusia Brevard County Line to Sebastian Inlet extending from 20 to 60 nautical miles. This afternoon, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots becoming east 10 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet with a dominant period 5 seconds. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Tonight, southeast winds 10 to 15 knots becoming south 5 to 10 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet with a dominant period 5 seconds. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Friday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Friday night, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Saturday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Saturday night, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Sunday, south winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Sunday night, south winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Monday, southwest winds 5 to 10 knots becoming south in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Gulf Stream hazards, none. The approximate location of the west wall of the Gulf Stream based on satellite data, as of Wednesday, June 15 to 3 a.m., 40 nautical miles east of Ponce Inlet, 30 nautical miles east of Port Canaveral, 24 nautical miles east of Sebastian Inlet, 17 nautical miles east of Fort Pierce Inlet, 10 nautical miles east of St. Lucie Inlet. Tropical weather outlook, issued at 7.31 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. This hazardous weather outlook is for East Central Florida. Day 1, this afternoon and tonight. A large outflow boundary that moved southward over the area this morning has helped stabilize the air mass over Central Florida initially today. This should aid in delaying afternoon thunderstorm activity until mid to late afternoon. As daytime heating continues today, scattered lightning storms are expected to develop over east central Florida along the east coast sea breeze. Developing storms will move toward the east around 10 miles per hour. Some storms may become strong late this afternoon as the east and west coast sea breezes collide over the interior counties, capable of producing wind gusts of 
above 50 miles per hour. Frequent lightning. Torrential rainfall and small hail. Move indoors at the first sign of a thunderstorm. If you can hear thunder, then lightning is close enough to strike you. Rip current impact. Surface winds will shift to the east today and begin to drive a small but long period swell into the Florida east coast. A high astronomical tide will continue today as well. These factors will generate an elevated rip current thread along area beaches today. The threat will be highest between 11.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. due to tidal effects. Marine thunderstorm gust impact, scattered thunderstorms will affect inland lakes this afternoon and potentially the intracoastal and immediate nearshore Atlantic waters. Boaters should remain alert to the potential for storms approaching from the west around 10 knots. Move to safe harbor in advance of any lightning storms. Fire weather impact, the combination of dry fuel conditions coupled with afternoon relative humidity values between 35 and 40 percent, and the threat for afternoon lightning storms will result in an enhanced fire weather danger today. Days 2 through 7, Friday through Wednesday, there will be a chance for afternoon and early evening lightning storms from Wednesday through Friday, with total storm coverage diminishing over the weekend. The fire danger will remain elevated until the pattern of higher coverage of afternoon rainfall establishes itself in East Central Florida. Spotter information statement. Spotters are requested to monitor the weather and self-activate if needed. The forecast for the Orlando No Weather Radio Listening Area. Today, partly cloudy, a chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the lower 90s. Variable winds around 5 miles per hour becoming east 5 to 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain 40%. Tonight, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms through late evening. Patchy fog after midnight. Lows in the mid-70s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Friday, partly sunny. A chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. Southwest winds around 5 miles per hour becoming south 5 to 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain 30%. Heat index readings 100 to 105. Friday night, partly cloudy. A slight chance of evening showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-70s. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming southwest around 5 miles per hour after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Saturday, partly sunny. A slight chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. South winds around 5 miles per hour becoming southeast 5 to 10 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain 20%. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Sunday, partly sunny. A slight chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. Chance of rain 20%. Clear weather round up at 1 p.m. Orlando International Airport, under mostly sunny skies, temperature 88 degrees, dew point 71, humidity 57%, the wind south at 6 miles an hour, pressure 29.97 inches and in falling. Orlando Executive Airport, under sunny skies, temperature 88 degrees, dew point 68, humidity 57%.